Hey everyone, my name is Riley, and in this video, I will be showing you how to create a to-do list inside of Smartsheet. I will show you a few different methods on how we can set this to-do list up, from a simple to-do list, a to-do list sorted by low, medium, and high priority tasks, and then a more organized to-do list, where we can set a to-do list for each day of the week. Without further ado, let's jump right in. So to get started with creating a to-do list on Smartsheet, the first thing that we are going to do is just go to the home tab right here, click on create a new, and then we want to create a new sheet. So we can click into this and then we can name this sheet. So I'm just going to call this to do list and click on OK. And just like that, it's going to open up this brand new blank smart sheet where we can go ahead and create this to do list. So along the top, we have some columns right here. And in the columns, this is where we can track things like the task name, we can track things like the date, and we can track if this is complete. And then from top to bottom, where we have all of these rows, this is where we can enter in the task that we want to add to the to-do list. So what we want to do is go to this primary column at the top, and we can call this task, and click on enter. And we can enter in the task name right here. Then we want to go over to column two, we can click into column two, and in here, we can enter in the due date. So we can say due date right here. And then for the column type, we want to set this to date so that we can select the date that this is due. And then for the third column, we can go in and we can call this complete. And then for the column type, we are going to set this to a checkbox. We can then choose the style of the checkbox that we want to use, whether we want to use a star, a check mark, or a flag. I'm just going to go for check mark. And then if you want to add any more information, we can use these remaining columns to do so. So we can choose from like a drop down list. We can choose from a duration and how long this task is going to take. We could maybe even set up priority and set symbols right here. But I want to make this to do list as simple as possible. So I'm going to delete these three columns. To do this, we just right click and then we can click on delete, delete this and delete this. And now when it comes to these tasks, we basically have a few different options in the way that we want to set this up. So the first option is that we can come in here. And if you just want a very, very simple to do list where we come in, we type in the task. So for example, I could go for eat breakfast. Then we could set the due date right here as today. And then we can just go ahead and check these off right here as they become complete. So eat breakfast. And then we could go for record smart sheet to do list, just like that. And then once again, we can enter that as today. And if you run into this issue where the text is kind of cut off when you enter it into task, then just select the task category right here. And then we can click on wrap and it's going to drop that down so we can see the text. So that is the first option. And that can be very handy, as I say, if you want a very simple to-do list. Where we come in, we check them off. And then after they are checked off, we just delete and repeat and recycle the process. However, we might want to lay this out in a different format to get a little bit more organization over this sheet. So the first thing that we can do is we can actually create some categories. So for the tasks, I might say that this is a quick tasks right here. So we can say quick tasks. And then we can go for, if we go further down, we can go high priority tasks. Then we can say medium priority tasks. And then we can go low priority tasks. And then all we would then have to do is just fill these in with the tasks underneath. So for quick tasks, I can once again say eat breakfast. Maybe we can walk the dog and drink four liters of water. And then for the due date, I'm going to set all of these to today's date. And then we can drag this down and set this all to today. Then for high priority tasks, I could come in and say that this is record, to-do list video, edit video, and upload. And then for medium priority, I could maybe say take trash out. You get the idea. We can basically set those up right there. And then we can turn these into collapsible menus. So right here, we want the main thing to be quick task. And then all of these underneath, we want this collapsible. So to do this, all we are going to do is we can either click on each individual task and drop this in to indent this. Or an easier way to do this is to highlight them all, all of the tasks that we want to indent. And if we click on this, this is now a collapsible menu. 
So I'm just going to delete these two rows right here, and we can say delete row. Then for these high priority tasks, we highlight these and indent. Then we can drop these down. And then these two rows we will delete. And then for this medium priority task, we can drop this in right here. And then low priority tasks, I will just say, let's say meal prep. And then once again, we click, drop this down. And then we want to delete these in the middle. Now we could even add a splash of color to this chart. So for example, quick tasks, we can highlight all of this. And then up here, we can choose the color for these cells. So for quick tasks, we might set this to like this blue color right here. Then for high priority tasks, we can set this to red because this is super important. Then for medium, we will set to kind of like this orange color. And then for low priority, we will set to green, just like that. Then we could also go up and just bold these right here so we can clearly see the difference between them and which are the categories and which are the individual tasks. So from here, we would then go down and just check off these tasks as they start to be completed. So that is one method that we can use to organize this. I'm just going to set this all back to the default. And another way is we could be even more organized and set this up like daily and weekly. So as an example, the current month is, it's the back end of July. So we could start this for August. So in the task name, we could set this to August. Then we could go down. So August, September. And then we could say October and November. And then in here, underneath this, we could say that this is week one, week two, week three, and week four, just like that. And then we can go in, indent these once again, and this August is now a collapsible menu. So we will do the same thing for September. We can actually just copy and paste these, just like that. Then do the same for October. We actually need an extra row here. So I'm going to go to November, insert a row. Then we can add that in right there. We'll do the same for November right here. Perfect. Then once again, we will select all of these, indent, select these and indent these into October, and then select and indent these into November. So once again, we now have these collapsible menus for each of these months. So from here, we can open up August. And then in week one, we want to add the days of the week. So I'm going to go to week two right here and insert a row, go back in, insert a row. And we want to make sure we have seven of these. And then in here, we can simply go for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So we have all of those in right there. So Monday through to Sunday. And then once again, we can select these, collapse them in one more time. And then we have two different types of drop down menus. So we can open up August and see all of the days in August. Click on this drop down menu and then see all of the days. And then in here, we can actually go ahead and add these tasks. So I'm going to add a row above. And on Monday, I'm going to say, let's walk the dog. Then we can add another one, insert that right there. And we can say, record YouTube content. And then once again, just as we did before, we select the two tasks, indent them. And now we have this collapsible menu. So we can open up August, we can go to week one, and then we can go to Monday, input the tasks that we need to do, set the due date, and then set if they are complete. Once again, a splash of color is going to do a lot of work here because it's pretty hard to see just when we have text and a white background. So what we might want to do is select the month right here and set this to like a orange color. Then we can drop this down and set all of the weeks within this to a lighter shade of orange, just like that. Grab the rest of these and do the same. Then we can go for the individual days and set this to an even lighter color of orange, just like that. And then for the individual tasks within these days, we go for an even lighter shade of orange. So just like that, we now have that set up. We can go to the month. We can go to the week that we are currently on, the day that we are currently on, set the tasks up right here, and then check these off as we need to. So that is how you can create a to-do list on Smartsheet. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.